Frontex is the European border agency. How did it come into existence? And what does it do? And why is this essentially evil? Hang on, we'll get to all this right now. In 2004, the EU created the European Agency for the Management of Operational Cooperation at the External Borders of the Member States of the European Union, short, Frontex. Since 2005, Frontex has had its headquarters in Warsaw, Poland. There, about 200 staff are working in order to further tighten border control in the European Union. Some of the staff spend their time gathering knowledge about irregular migration to Europe. They have a very cynical term for it. They call it risk analysis. They are gathering statistics and feed it into a model and try to find out what they refer to as hotspots of migration. They also create maps which give a sense of an invasion of refugees, although this is a racist lie. Frontex then initiates so-called joint operations. They basically bring together resources and staff from different member states and target migration in one specific geographic area. One operation takes place in the territorial waters of Senegal, Mauritania and the Cape Verde Islands. That is about 2,000 kilometers away from actual European territory. There, Frontex tries to stop people from even starting their journey to the Canary Islands. There is not too much knowledge about how exactly they are doing this. However, as you can see, it is a very military-style operation. Some people allege that the operations disrespect fundamental human rights and international laws, such as the Geneva Convention on Refugees. Another effect of the operation is that the routes people need to travel have become more dangerous. They have become longer, are out in the open sea, and are being traveled by ever smaller boats. Reports about tragedies at sea involving the death of many people can be found in newspapers every day. Frontex, however, argues that their task is to coordinate the policing of borders, not rescuing people. Generally speaking, there are a couple of other Frontex operations, especially at the land borders in the east of the European Union and at international airports. Frontex is also involved in research. Although they know better, they have this vision of building a high-tech border where all that happens can be monitored in real time. They are also doing research into biometrics, hoping to have computer do all the border checks. Frontex is also involved in the organization of deportation flights. If you believe that all people should have the right to freely roam the globe, all this is pretty bad. Lately, there have been first attempts at organizing a campaign against Frontex. A first step has been the demonstration in 2008 in Warsaw, right in front of the headquarters. Another action took place in the German city of Lübeck, where Frontex holds training workshops for European border guards. There have been actions in places as far away but severely affected by Frontex, such as Mali and Mauritania. But this year, we are all going to take it one step further. We will hold a no-border camp on the Greek island of Lesvos. As you can see, the European border is quite complicated in this area. The Greek-Turkish border, which is also the EU external border, meanders between Turkey and the Greek islands. There are no international waters, and it is a zone of tension. The island of Lesbos itself is at times only 10 kilometers apart from Turkey. 
it comes as no surprise that a lot of refugees and migrants try to cross the Aegean Sea with small boats at night. In 2008, about 13,000 refugees and migrants were intercepted in Lesbos. However, much more people attempt the crossing of the European border. Research by human rights organizations shows that the Greek Coast Guard, aided by Frontex, engaged in a highly dangerous and violent practice of pushing refugees back to Turkey. There are numerous reports about beatings, torture, and destruction of boats. If the Greek Coast Guard intercepts a boat of refugees, they disable the boat by punching holes into the hull, but nevertheless put the refugees back into the boat. They are playing with the lives of people that have fled to protect their very lives. A lot of people actually make it to Lesbos. There, they are usually detained in a detention center called Pagani. Although it only has the capacity for about 200 people, it seems to be common to have up to a thousand refugees in Pagani. Conditions are horrible, and not even lawyers and doctors have proper access to the detainees. In all the rooms? All rooms. Some, some room is 100, some room is 120, you know? The, all of it is like 900, 1,000 people. Everybody is sick. By having the no border camp in Lesbos, we want to protest against this undeclared war against refugees and migrants. We will bring these practices into the light of the European public, focusing especially on the detention center and the practices of the border guards. Lesbos is just one spot on the European border where crimes against refugees and migrants are being committed every day. Although we want to talk about the specific Greek conditions, our resistance is directed against the EU external border as a whole and the European border agency Frontex. For this reason, the camp will also be a place for networking and discussion. Join the no-border camp in Lesbos. Repression has no place on our boat. No border, no nation.